Hey baby dolls, it's Ashley and today we are continuing on with my makeup collection and getting into my powder collection. So I've got a bunch of pressed powders and loose powders. We're going to go through every single one of them. So if you're interested to see what I've got and what I think about them, you're in the right place. Just keep watching. <laughs> So I'm always trying to figure out the best order to do these in and I never really know what's the best way so I'm just going to kind of wing it as usual. So first what we're going to start with are loose powders that are not translucent that have color. The first one is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder and this is in Fair Light. Absolutely love this so much. Then I've got the NYX Mineral Set It and Don't Fret It Powder. Love this as well. And then I've got the CoverGirl Professional Loose Powder in 110. And surprisingly, I really like this one as well. If I had to pick a favorite out of the three, it would probably be the Maybelline. But honestly, I have nothing negative to say about any of these. So now we're going to go ahead and do the translucent loose face powders. So for those, first I have the Cody Airspun, and this is in translucent extra coverage. And I love this just as much as everyone else does. I believe it's even been in one of my favorites videos. I do still use it constantly. I absolutely love it. Then next I have the Koki Cosmetics HD Translucent Setting Powder and I really really like this. I don't have a lot of products from Koki but I have a few and all of the ones I have I absolutely love. And then I have the Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous Translucent Face Powder. And I actually really like this one too. The only thing is, is I'm not sure if this one will give you flashback or not. I heard that it doesn't do that, but I haven't actually tested that myself. And then last for the loose powders is this little Naked Cosmetics Banana Powder. I know it's not technically translucent, it's a banana powder, but whatever. I love this, especially for setting under my eyes. And I know I've put this in a favorites video before. I absolutely love this little powder and it makes me really sad because the full size is kind of expensive and so when this one runs out I'm probably not going to repurchase but I'm going to enjoy every moment of it until it runs out. <laughs> And honestly, as far as my loose face powders go, I don't want the videos to be too long, so I don't want to go too far into any of them, but I do want to say that I honestly do like all of the loose face powders that I have. There's not a single one I showed you that I have any real complaints about or that I dislike. And so now we are going to go ahead and move into all of the pressed powders. All right, so for the pressed powders, I'm going to go ahead and show you my powder foundations, then translucent powders, then colored powders. So first for my powder foundations, there's only two. The first one is the MAC Studio Fix Powder, um, and obviously I love this. Who doesn't? <laughs> Then I have the Milani Even Touch Powder Foundation in the shade 02 Fresco. And I've only used this once, and I don't actually use these as foundations. I use them as like setting powders. I, I don't know, I'm not a powder foundation kind of person, but I do really, really like both of these. Then for my translucent pressed powders, there's only three. And the first one is from Hard Candy, and this is a color correcting finishing powder. And it is technically translucent, but when you look at it in the pan, it's got all the different colors in it. Because, you know, like I said, it's supposed to be color correcting, but when you swatch it on your hand, it is actually translucent. And I do really, really like this as a finishing powder a lot. Then I've got another one from Hard Candy, and this is the Fast and Fabulous Translucent Finishing Powder. And this is actually like a white powder and I really like this one as well I don't get any kind of flashback or white cast really like it and then the third is the Milani prep set and go transparent face powder and now I've used this both to prep my face before I put on foundation and to set my face after I've done foundation and I really really like this for both of those purposes 
All right, so then we're gonna go ahead and move into all of the colored powders. So first I have this little e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder, and this one I also have used to prime my face before putting on foundation and to set my face after. And again, I like it for both purposes. Then the other e.l.f. Press Powder I have is this one, and it's just the powder and it comes with a little cotton puff thing. And this is the mattifying powder. And this says it's translucent, but if you look at it, it's it's not. It is a colored powder. It does have a tan, like a skin tone to it. Then I have the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte powder and this is in the shade 200 natural beige and of course I love this just as much as everyone else <laughs> then I have the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless powder in 110 which is porcelain and again love this these are both powders that I actually wound up buying because there was so much like hype surrounding them and I'm really glad I bought them um this, the L'Oreal one is actually a repurchase because I've gone through one and this one I had in a different color but I decluttered it and got a, a new color. But I do love both of them. Then another kind of like cult classic, if you will, is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I absolutely love this. This is another one of those things that I really just don't run out of. This is the second or third one I've bought. I love this powder. Then I've got the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder, and this is an 821E. And for the one billionth time, everything I've tried from the Wet n Wild Photo Focus line impresses me. I love it all, this included. <laughs> and then last, but certainly not least, is the LA Girl Pro Face HD High Definition Matte Pressed Powder. And this one is in Classic Ivory. And I've only gotten a chance to use this one once or twice, but I do like it. Um, once again, same with the pressed powders as with the loose powders. I went through and decluttered all of my powders not too terribly long ago, so I don't have any that I actually dislike. Every single one that I showed you in this video is a powder that I use and like and would recommend. So if you're looking for a good powder, I'd honestly recommend any of the ones in this video. But that's all I've got for you today. Remember, if you have any questions at all about any of these products or any suggestions or ideas of videos you'd like to see in the future, leave them down in those comments below. Don't forget to give me thumbs up if you like the video or if you just like me. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and sign up for notifications. I put out new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So if you subscribe and hit that little notification bell, you'll never miss a video. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.